Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making a nice circle or radial sweep in Blender. So let's get started making our effect. So the first thing you want to do is you want to delete the default cube by typing X on your keyboard and clicking delete. Next press numpad 1 on your keyboard and type control and then alt and then numpad 0 to bring your camera into front view. So now we're going to start making our sweep. Type shift and then A on your keyboard and when the add dialog pops up, hover your cursor over mesh and select plane. Rotate the plane 90 degrees on the X axis by typing R and then X and then 90 and type enter to confirm the rotation. Now you want to type tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Select edge select and now we'll hold down shift and deselect the bottom edge here. And now we're going to delete all of the vertices or edges except for the bottom edge here. So let's type X and click edges so that we only have this edge here. So press tab to go back into object mode. We're going to put our edge up to the origin. So type shift and then control and then alt and then C on your keyboard and type geometry to origin. Now we're going to type tab on our keyboard and type A to make sure that our edge is selected. We're going to type W and click subdivide. So now we've cut our edge in two and we're going to delete the left edge here. So right click on that edge and type X and click edges. So now we're going to press tab to go back into object mode and we're going to start making our sweep effect. But before we do that, we're going to change the frame rate of our animation to 60 frames per second and turn on AV sync. So now we're going to go into the right of the screen here and add a new material for this. Make it emit by 2 and change the color to blue. Alright, so now let's get to our sweep. Let's turn off specularity too. So go into the modifiers tab here. Click add modifier and select screw. And change the steps to 85. And you can see if we change the angle value, we get a nice sweep. So let's put that back to 360 and jump to frame 85. Have your cursor over this and type I. And uh, rewind to frame 62. Have your cursor over this and change the value to 0 and then type I. So now you can see if we alt A this. we can see we've got a pretty fast kind of clock wipe. So let's fast forward to a frame just before that finishes and type I. With your cursor hovered over that value and uh, rewind to when it's just starting and uh, hover your cursor over that and type I. So now we're going to slow down the animation in the dope sheet. So let's split our screen here. Go into the dope sheet and we're going to right click on our last keyframe and move it all the way out here. Left click. And right click on this keyframe and move it towards the middle a bit more. And hold down shift and right click. And right click on that keyframe and space it out a little bit more. Now this should make our animation a bit more smooth. So let's play this. And you can see it looks pretty nice. Let's right click and hold and right click and hold and just space these two last keyframes out just a little bit more. GX, left click and space that out. And type Alt A. And that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're only adjusting keyframes for the object selected by selecting that cursor. I'm going to shift D and just put this extra one over here, left click. And let's right click back on our main object and add an array modifier. And uh, so that we don't get the whole circle sweep array, and so we only get the edge array, let's move this 
the rain modifier above the screw modifier and you should see we have a nice wipe effect. So we're going to change the offset to 0.99 just to make sure we don't get any gaps between our arrayed edge. And let's change the count to 9. So now you can see if we type Z that we've got our edge arrayed until it makes a nice sweep. What we're going to do is separate the objects and then offset our animations with an add-on called Commotion. So we have a tutorial on how to install Commotion already and it's linked in the description below. But if you already have Commotion installed after following our last video tutorial, we can uh, we can pretty much continue from here. So let's click apply on the array modifier. We can type Z to go back into object mode and press tab and type A to make sure all your edges are selected and type P by loose parts. And now you can see we have our objects separated. So let's press tab to go back into object mode and just rewind to a previous frame Type A to select all your keyframes. You can type it twice. So to make sure your keyframes are highlighted yellow, that means they're selected. Okay, so let's click F curves here, the arrow next to that, and change the frame offset to 3. Copy the animations to make sure that it's nice and clean. And offset by name. So let's click Offset Animation and let's play this. Alright. So let's right click on this extra one here and delete it. Let's right click on this. So now we're going to select Linked Material. We're going to do right click and deselect that by holding Shift and just right clicking that twice. I'm making sure these are still selected. So you can control G to group them and name the group Sweep. Go into the Materials section and click this F here and then click this plus here and uh, Shift D and let's make this back to the original material and uh, click plus there and change the color value darker. See why I move that up. And control L to link materials. And let's type GX to make the animation just a little bit later in the dope sheet. So we get that nice sweeping effect. And if you rewind and play that through, we have our circle sweep. So let's alternate and play how that looks. And that looks really neat. So now that uh we finished creating our animation. You probably want to like and leave a comment. And if you're interested in more free tutorials, templates, and the like, you can check out the links in the description below. So check out those links. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Crime.